And away they go. Favourite Moss Girl was slow out about a half a length, but she's going to look to slot on one off the rail, three lengths off them. She's a matador, also makes a move around runners. Jade Green's right there, Ravishing Lily. Barrack Fort holds position to the inside. Pink Silks of She's a Matador looking to slot in two lengths off them. Bella Beta to the inside. The favourite Moss Girl racing four lengths off the leaders. Love of Luxuries is further back in the running. Love of Luxuries giving them six or seven lengths start. Maya the Bee races seven, eight lengths off them. Tunders around her racing nine lengths off the tempo. Bitter Beware is further back in the running. Wanton Child for Love or Money is ten lengths off the speed and Caligari Carnival the trailer. Barrack Fort at the top of the lane. Jade Green comes to the outside, Ravishing Lily. Bella Vita's got two lengths to make up. She's a matador, comes extreme outside and followed through by Moss Girl. White sleeves and cap, could still have a say. 300 metres to go, She's a matador, takes on Ravishing Lily. Moss Girl, now Sean Cormack asking her for maximum as they come inside the 200. She's a matador, moved up dangerously. Ravishing Lily's along the inside, a neck away. Then comes Moss Girl, 100 metres left to go. She's a matador, flat to the boards, has her head in front. Ravishing Lily's coming back but she's a matter or pulls it out a strong ride second position ravishing lily six seven lengths away moss girl bella vita maya the b in minor positions photos Well, James Goodman, bullish on number two. She's a matador. Anton Marcus and the blinkers on. And you'll notice Anton Marcus really having to drive her home. The daughter of Toria Dor. She wins about a head decision. She was drawn out deep. But James Goodman gave us the confidence and he said she'll be the horse to beat. The daughter of Toria Dor wins by that head or so. Ravishing Lily gave it her all back in the second, would not go away, but she's a matador, moved up dangerously on the stand side. As for the favourite, Moss Girl was given every possible chance, 3.50 to go, she was still being confidently ridden, and as soon as Sean Cormack asked her, there was nothing left in the tank. Behind these runners, Bella Vita, Maya the Bee, Tanda, Wanton Child. 300 metres to go, she's a matador, towards the outside, Moss Girl and Ravishing Lizzie would end up being the, the major danger inside the 100, Ravishing Lily in the blue silks with the black cap, but she's a matador, hot up on the outside, you notice Anton Marcus changes the whip from right to left, and just to drive a little bit more out of she's a matador, and they go hammer and tong to the line, but number two, she's a matador. For Mr. Sadlier will win it, bred by the Flying Stud, and Anton Marcus galvanized her into action. Back to the studio. Number two, she's a matador. The daughter of Toriador has come to, to uh, break her maiden this afternoon, and two good mates leading in the winner. One the trainer, the other the owner. And I had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Gerald Sadler for the first time today. And uh, what a moment for these two guys. I'm sure James is going to tell us a bit more about the friendship, the racing and the win. Goody, firstly, nice to train a winner for uh, one of your great mates. Yeah, and a great patron. He's been with me for many, many years. We've had glory days, but um, this has got to count with one of them, you know, to win a maiden with a horse that he bred. Uh, not bad. Talk us through it. You, you put the blinkers on the fully today and we all know that it's difficult from the position that she was drawn, but uh, Anton did a superb job. Well, I must thank Anton. You know, he's been there. I've been away and he's been there every day working her, getting her ready for the race. And he said to me that she needed the blinkers. So, you know, he put in the work and he deserved his 7%. I hope he only gets 7%, but he wrote, <laughs> he wrote a good race and put in a lot of work. So I'm very thrilled about that. What was the feedback, you know, uh, when he came into the number one box? Uh, it looked quite simple when he turned into the straight. He said he nearly pulled it up at the 150 because it put his head on the ground. So I said it was tired. <laughs> he obviously hadn't given it enough work. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> but very nice. Fantastic for Gerald. Gerald and Shirley, you know, we've been um, very, very good friends for a very long time. And I'm thrilled he came down today. Uh, he had two runners. He's had a fifth, which is great and, and nice to be able to win for him. Thanks, Steve. Well done, trainer James Goodman. Now, Mr. Sadler, we get the pleasure of meeting him for the first time, which I do, and well done to you, sir. Geez, thank you very much indeed. It was most exciting, and what a brilliant ride. 
I am charming. That was the concern, the, the draw, and he, and he got over beautifully from he that. He really did. He really, and, of course, James has been away in Australia for the last eight days. Now, he insists he's been training this horse long distance, but it's a bit suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Talk us through it. I mean, you guys okay. have obviously built up a friendship over the years, and you must have had many, many winners with him. Yes, I have had many, many winners. The most famous two were Gold Tax and Highborn. Yes. We won the administrators back-to-back, -back, I think, 13 years ago and 12 years ago. Um, I first met James literally 30 years ago, um, not that I remember very much about it, we may not have been entirely sober at the time, but this <laughs> win is particularly exciting Dees because she was bred at Ken Twart's place uh, where I have quite a lot of my mares, Ken Twart's place and Rob Pickering's place and you know it's one thing to own a horse that wins but it's much more exciting when you breed them. <clears throat> and I had this mother, she's a, a lady, and to be honest with you, she was rather unreliable, and we were considering renaming her, she's a slapper, or she's a trollop or something, <laughs> but she did finally manage to win a race, and we bred from her uh, with Toriador, and I think it's most exciting, and hopefully she might be able to manage a few more places, or maybe she's on her way to Port Elizabeth or Kimberley, but I don't think she's going to win too many more, but what a brilliant ride for Anton, and uh, thank you very much. Well, it's a beautiful story story now. Do you go off and join James uh, for a cigar? Look, I find if I try and smoke those things, I cough quite a lot. And that's not just because of the price of 350 rand per cohiba. <laughs> but I suppose you probably chat me up for a couple of them. Anyway, it was the most exciting day uh, today, I must say that. Very well, well worth coming down. Pleasure meeting you. Well done, Mr. Sadler. Super. Thank you, Dees. Okay. Well done to uh, Mr. Gerald Sadler with number two, She's a Matador. If you caught this quartet, the numbers you'll need, 2, 4, 1, and 17. Coming up next will be the first leg of the pick six time to jot down there 13 35 25 to 2 coming up next race number four the start of this afternoon's pick six